Creeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. On this episode of Library Macabre, I will be doing part two of my horror bookshelf tour. So resuming the horror bookshelf tour, I have even more horror paperbacks. So like I said in the last part, all of these are in alphabetical order by the author's last name. So we are continuing on with the C's. First off, I have quite a few new additions to my horror library. And these are books that I have not had time to shelve yet. I have Incarnate by Ramsey Campbell, The Dogs by Robert Cowder, Prey by C. Terry Klein Jr. and Hide and Seek by William M. Carney. So now I will get into this shelf right here. What I'm gonna do is take off the first row and I will show you the books behind and then I will show you the books in the front. Starting off, we have Night of the Wolf by Jay Callahan. The Parasite by Ramsey Campbell. Night of the Claw by Jay Ramsey, AKA Ramsey Campbell. The Influence by Ramsey Campbell, Deathport, an anthology about flying, edited by Ramsey Campbell, 50 Great Horror Stories, edited by John Canning, Torments by Lisa W. Cantrell, The Ridge by Lisa W. Cantrell, and Bone Man, also by Lisa W. Cantrell, The Breeze Horror by Candace Caponegro, Cursed Be the Child by Mort Castle, Soul Snatchers by Michael Cicillion, Flowers of Evil by Robert Charles, The Grange by R. Chetwin Haynes, Cry Wolf by Alan B. Cronister. Love this cover. A signed copy of The Vampire Odyssey by Scott Kenson, as well as a signed copy of its sequel, The Wildlings, and Parliament of Blood, also by Scott Kenson. Guardian Angels by Joseph Citro, The Feeding by Lee Clark, Carnivore by Lee Clark, Stranger by Simon Clark, Death's Domain by Simon Clark, and Cradle to the Grave by Susan Claudia. Next we have Stigma by Bill Clendenin, The Shaman by Frank Coffey, Breeder by Douglas Clegg, and The Halloween Man also by Douglas Clegg, two different editions of Callie by Sharon Combs, Brass by Robert J. Conley, the Hampton Sisters by Bernard F. Connors, Child's Play by Sal Conti, Coma by Robin Cook, The Sharing by Martha Moffat and Cy Cook, Out for Blood by John Peyton Cook. Next, I have a few books by Vincent Courtney. So first we have Vampire Beat, its sequel, Harvest of Blood, Let's Pretend You're Dead, and Goblins. Next are a handful of books by Matthew J. Costello. We have Sleep Tight, Midsummer, Worm, Darkborn, and Captain Quad. Next is Hobgoblin by John Coyne, Creepers by Robert Craig, The Foretelling by Caroline Crane, The Legacy by Jeer Cunningham, and Scarecrow by Richie Tinkersley Cusick. So now we're dropping on down to the next shelf. We're going to finish up the C's and go into the D's. Uh, here I have a couple of new additions that have not shelved alphabetically yet. So we have Horror Hunters, which is an anthology of horror stories, and Golgotha Falls by Frank DeFolita. First up, I have another book by Richie Tinkersley Cusick, Blood Roots, The Seventh Sacrament by Roland Cutler, Blood Beast by Tom D. Amasa. Next are a few books by David Dark. First one is Blind Hunger, Shade, Last Rites. Two books by Don Davis and Jay Davis. We have Sins of the Flesh and Bring on the Night, Forbidden Objects by Maggie Davis, Halo by Chet Day, Voodoo by Jeffrey Wilde Stever, Oktoberfest by Frank DeFolita, A Lovely Monster, by Rick De Marinas, Caliban and Other Tales by Robert De Vero, 
The Wanting Factor by Jean DeWeese, A Different Darkness by Jean DeWeese, The Haven by Graham Diamond, Shadow of the Beast by Gerald DePigo, Fangs by William Dobson, Undertow by Drake Douglas, Creature by Drake Douglas, a first edition of The Nest, as well as the newer Valancourt reprint. And then I also have The Unholy Smile by Gregory Douglas. Lagoon by Allison Drake. Next we have Schoolhouse and Mind Stealer, both by Lee Dugan. Demonic Color and Crawling Dark, both by Pauline Dunn. The Dead of Autumn by H.P. Dunn. Unquenchable by David Vorkin. Totem and Evil Eye, both by Aaron M. Ely. Black Ambrosia by Elizabeth Engstrom. Borderland by S.K. Epperson. Shapeshifter and Devil's Gate, both by Elizabeth Argas. Next are a few books by Dennis Etchison. We have Dark Side, Meta Horror, Shadow Man, and California Gothic. The Brownstone by Ken Elo. The Death Stone by Ken Elo. Nocturnal, also by Ken Elo. And lastly, The House of Cain by Ken Elo. Sacrifice by John Everson. The 13th by John Everson. And Siren by John Everson. And then the final book for this shelf is Dream House by Christopher Fahey. Moving down, you will see the last shelf I'm gonna be looking at for this video. I have a few uh, Cemetery Dance hardcovers to go over. Uh, but first I have this little horror box crate right here, which I got when I was a kid. Uh, it used to work. Uh, it would shake and scream like somebody was trapped inside. It doesn't work anymore, but I still thought it was a cool item for the shelf. First, we have Widow's Point by Richard Chismar and Billy Chismar. Midnight Premiere, edited by Tom Piccarelli. Oblivion by J. Bonansinga. Then we have Moonbane by Al Sarantonio, Hallow's Eve by Al Sarantonio, Halloweenland by Al Sarantonio, and a couple more books by Al Sarantonio. We have Orangefield, and lastly, Toy Box. So that is all I'll be looking at for part two of my horror bookshelf tour, and I will be back soon with part three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Later creeps. Hey creeps, thank you again for visiting my channel and for subscribing. If you would like to see more, I am on Twitter and Instagram at BookMovieGuy. I am also the co-creator of the Library Macabre Books Facebook page. Also, I am a horror author, so if you would like to read any of my work or check out any of the pages that I mentioned, I will leave the links down below in the graveyard. And lastly, I am on Patreon, so I wanted to use this time to extend a very warm thank you to all of these awesome creeps over here. Those are all of my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to say thank you so much, guys, and uh, stay spooky.